Today, we are going to look at a body viz brain builder about cardiac muscle and cardiomyopathy. Cardiac muscle is only found in the heart and is involuntary striated muscle tissue. Cardiac muscle is composed of individual cells that are joined by complex cellular junctions termed intercalated discs. These specialized junctions cause cardiac muscle to function as one unit in that the stimulation of one cardiac muscle cell results in the contraction of all cardiac muscle cells. These cells are multinucleated and have less connective tissue between cardiac muscle cells compared to skeletal muscle. Cardiac and skeletal muscles do have a few things in common, including both types of muscle having the same A bands and I bands, and the same contractile proteins. Let's learn a little bit more about cardiomyopathy. The term cardiomyopathy represents a diverse collection of pathologies of the heart and its muscular wall that affects the cardiac muscle. In cardiomyopathy, the muscle of the heart may either fill with substances produced by the body that are not normally present within cardiac muscle, thicken, or become thinner than normal. In all forms of cardiomyopathy, the heart's ability to contract and pump blood becomes significantly reduced and may result in heart failure. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a type of cardiomyopathy where the cardiac muscle thickens considerably. This form of the disease may occur at any time in an individual's lifetime. There are numerous cellular changes seen in patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which can be abbreviated as HCM for short. The arrangement of the cells of the heart is considerably different in individuals with HCM. Rather than being arranged in straight, parallel bundles of cells, cardiac cells are often seen perpendicular to each other or are described as being in a basket weave pattern. Additionally, the intercalated discs between the individual cardiac cells are believed to conduct electrical impulses between cardiac muscle cells differently and possibly less effectively than the intercalated discs found within a normal heart. Next, we will look at the symptoms, causes, and treatments for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And finally, give a patient example. Symptoms of HCM include frequent fainting, fatigue, shortness of breath, swelling in the ankles and legs, and an irregular heartbeat. The cause of HCM can depend on the age of the person. If it occurs in adolescents or young athletes, it is often an inherited condition. In adults, HCM is the most common form of cardiomyopathy, and the causes of it are unknown. All treatment for HCM is dependent on how far the disease has progressed. Treatment is intended to slow the progress of the disease and hopefully reduce the chances of sudden cardiac death. Any medications prescribed will reduce heart rate and or strengthen the contraction of the patient's heart. These physiological changes will help the heart pump blood more efficiently and reduce the strain on the patient's heart. If medications do not improve the patient's symptoms, one of several surgical procedures may be recommended. In addition, patients will be recommended to make significant changes in their lifestyle including the introduction of moderate intensity physical activity or the reduction of physical activity from intense to moderate levels in younger patients, avoiding the consumption of alcohol and the use of tobacco products, obtain and maintain a healthy weight, and lastly, eat a healthy diet. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You receive your patient's file and take a look. Age, 17, sex, male, chief complaints, fatigue, and fainting at practice. You invite the patient into your office for an examination. Your patient has come in today because they fainted at track practice this afternoon. Their vital signs and blood sugar are normal. The only thing that seems off is the patient's heartbeat when you listen to it. You do some further physical examination, and the patient's legs and ankles seem somewhat swollen to you. You ask the patient when they first began noticing the fatigue and if they have fainted before. The patient explains how they have been feeling fatigue for about a month, but assumed it was just because they were in the middle of track season. He also says he frequently feels lightheaded, 
like they are going to faint, but figured it was just part of them being tired, until he actually fainted this afternoon. You have an echocardiogram performed on the patient to see if the patient's heart muscle is unusually thick. From the echocardiogram, you confirm the diagnosis of HCM and talk with your patient about the changes they are going to have to make in their lifestyle and schedule regular checkups to see how the patient is doing physically and mentally. This is a classic example of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Thank you for watching this Brain Builder video. Please like and subscribe to our BodyViz channel. Or if you're new at BodyViz, check out our other anatomy resources and schedule a demo at bodyviz.com.